Dear students, Sat Shri Kaal. In today's video, we are presenting a video of class 6, subject computer science. In this video, we have revised lesson 1 to lesson A by answering all the questions according to the syllabus. So let us start. So now we start revising the multiple choice question. So let's get started. The first question is, computer can do dash and their options are calculations, accept data and instructions storage and the last one is all of above and the right answer is computer can do all of above the second one is computer perform its operation with high dash and their options are speed accuracy efficiency and the last one is all of these and the right answer is computer perform its operation with high all of above and the third one is in bank Computer is used for dash and their options are keeping the bank safe, keeping account record, keeping bank clean and the last one is none of these. And the right answer is in bank, computer is used for keeping account record. And the fourth one is in education, a computer is used for dash and their options are preparing notes, preparing result preparing reports and the last one is all of these and the right answer is in education a computer is used for all of these and the first one is which one of these is a limitation of computer and their options are speed accuracy no iq and the last one is diligence and the right answer is no iq is a limitation of computer so now we will learn about true or false and the first one is we can use computers to book our ticket of train and airplanes and the answer is true. Second one is computer cannot do calculation with 100% correctness and the answer is false. Third one is data stored in computer remains safe for a long time. True. Fourth one is computer do not have failings or IQ and the answer is true. So now we will learn about fill in the blank in lesson number one and the first one is computer is an dash machine and the answer is computer is an electronic machine and the second one is mobile is a dash device and the right answer is mobile is a portable device and the third one is time taken by a computer to do your work can be measured in dash and the right answer is time taken by a computer to do your work can be measured in millisecond and the fourth one is Dash also have a touchpad to fulfill the need of a mouse and the right answer is Laptop also have a touchpad to fulfill the need of a mouse. So we will now learn about short answer type questions. So first question is define computer and the answer is an electronic device created to process information is called computer. It execute these instructions after receiving data and input from the user. Processing is the process of putting instruction into action on data. The user receives the generated result as an output following processing. And the second question is explain the uses of computer in education field. And the answer is computer are used in the field of education by student to write notes, drawing, create project, learn through e-content, etc. And by teacher to prepare result set up schedules, create report card, etc. And the third question is write the name of any three portable computing devices. And their answer is name of the three portable computing devices. The first one is smartphone. Second one is tablet computer. Third one is palm top computer. So we will now learn about long answer type question in lesson one. So the first question is what are the characteristics of computers? And the answer is each feature of computer motivate us to use computer which are as follow. The first one is speed. The speed of computer is the primary reason for using them. Even difficult calculations are completed by it in a fraction of a second. The unit of measurement for the speed of computer processing is millisecond or thousand of a second. And the second one is accuracy. Accuracy is also an important feature of computer. Confidence in the correctness of a computer generator result refers to its accuracy. And a third one is reliability. Assuring 100% correctness of the computer generator result and we don't need to 
retest this result shows its reliability. And the fourth one is diligence. Computer perform initial and final calculation with same accuracy and speed. A computer does not get tired like a human while working. As long as the computer works, it gives us accurate and precise results. And the fifth one is automation. The computer does not require any kind of assistant while doing the processing. Once the instructions are given, it automatically executes until the end and finally provides the result to the user. And the sixth one is storage. The storage capacity of computer is very high. Every computer has a hard disk device installed which is capable of storing all kind of data. In it, we can store characters, sounds, videos, program, animation, etc. as data. And the second question is define any five application of computers. And your answer are computer application areas means all the area in which computer are used which are as follow. The first one is learning. In the field of education, computer are used by student for preparing notes, drawing, making project, studying through e-content, etc and teachers use computers for preparing result, making timetable and creating report card etc. And the second one is entertainment. Computer is a great means of entertainment. We can listen to songs, watch movies, play games, enjoy realistic 3D effects, even present new stories and funny scenes in the form of cartoons through computer. This area of multimedia plays an important role in gamified learning method. And the third one is sports. Computer are used to enhance the performance of players in the field of sports. A player's daily record is stored in the computer to continue improving his performance. Sports played on the field can be played for practice in a closed room using a realistic 3D station. And the fourth one is hospital. In the hospital, the patient record is coded in the computer. This can easily take care of the patient health. A tally of the patient ongoing medication and the impact of each medication on the patient health can be easily kept. Computer are also used to perform complex tests in the laboratory. And the fifth one is bank. A bank is a place where most of the operations in a bank are related to depositing and withdrawing money from the account. All such work involve data processing and a computer is required to perform such processing properly. This makes managing all accounts very easy and advanced. And the third question is, what are the limitations of computers and the answer are, a computer is capable of doing many things but it is unable to do many things because it is a machine. Such tasks are called the limitation of the computer which are as follows. The first one is, a computer cannot make any decision by itself. And the second one is, a computer cannot correct an incorrect instruction. And third one is, a computer cannot do any work without instructions from the user. Fourth one is, computer do not have feelings and understandings. Fifth one is, it has no knowledge and experience like a human being. And the fourth question is, what do you mean by portable computing devices? explain any three of them and the answer are all those devices which process data and which can be easily carried from one place to another are called portable computing devices which are as follow the first one is smartphone a smartphone is a portable device which is used to make calls and process data digitally smartphones provide us with cameras and and more data storage Smartphones are used for education, business, entertainment and playing games. And second one is tablet computer. A tablet computer is a thin and portable computer. It is battery operated and has a touch screen which make it easy to use in tablet we can write without keyboard. And the third one is palm top computer. A palm top computer is a computer which can be easily operated by placing it on the palm of the hand. This type of computer has a small screen and a keyboard. It is not very popular due to its limited uses. And the fifth question is explain the uses of computer and the answer are we can use the computer for the following purposes. The first one is 
we can do mathematical calculations on computer second one is we can play games on computer third one is we can draw pictures on computer fourth one is we can listen songs and watch films on computer fifth one is we can use computer to print books and newspaper sixth one is we can use computer to book our ticket to travel in trains buses and airplanes seventh one is we can check the weather condition of any place before traveling and the eighth one is we can print reports result of our school or timetable so now we will learn about multiple choice question of lesson number two the first question is which part of computer system accept input from the user and their options are input unit output unit control unit and the last one is none of these and the right answer is input unit of computer system accept input from the user and the second one is which is a part of cpu and their options are control unit memory unit alu and the last one is all of these and the right answer is all of these is a part of cpu third one is which memory store permanent data in computer system and their options are primary memory ram secondary memory and the last one is all of these and the right answer is secondary memory store permanent data in computer system and the fourth one is which is the most powerful type of computer and the options are mainframe computer mini computer microcomputer and the last one is supercomputer and the right answer is supercomputer is a most powerful type of computer and the fifth one is which part of computer system gives result as an output to the user and the options are memory input unit control unit and the last one is output unit and the right answer is output unit of a computer system gives result as an output to the user so now we will learn about write the full forms in lesson number two so the first one is alu alu stand for arithmetic logic unit second one is cpu cpu stand for central processing unit third one is lcd lcd stand for liquid crystal display fourth one is ram ram stand for random access memory fifth one is rom rom stand for read only memory Sixth one is CU. CU stand for control unit. Seventh one is MU. MU stand for memory unit. Eighth one is IPO. IPO stand for input processing output. So now we will learn about short answered question in lesson number two. Now the first one is write the name of part of CPU, and the answer is the central processing unit of a computer system is divided into three parts. The first one is memory unit. second one is control unit and third one is arithmetic and logic unit and the second question is what are the types of memories and the answer are there are two types of computer memories the first one is primary memory and the second one is secondary memory and the third question is what are the secondary storage devices and their answer is secondary storage devices store all the data that is not currently in the computer primary storage or main memory it is the memory of a computer system that does not allow cpu to have direct access it is used to store data for a long time and the data stored in it is not lost even in case of power failure it is also called non volatile memory it's not too expensive it has high storage capacity it can be easily moved from one place to another and the fourth question is what is the function of alu and the answer are alu unit does arithmetic and logical work alu is also called the building block of the central processing unit of a computer system because this block follows instruction in a digital computer most of the work is done logically and involve a lot of calculation to be process this part of the computer system is built inside the microprocessor so fifth question is what is microcomputer so microcomputer are so small that they could easily be placed on a desk they are also called computer on a chip these computers do about 1 million calculation per second these computer are used in small offices schools small businesses and other work areas and the sixth question is what are the different categories of computer and the answer are there are four types of computer based on speed memory processing capacity and storage capacity the first one is microcomputer second one is mini computer 
third one is mainframe computer and the fourth one is supercomputer. So now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number two. The first one is explain primary memory and its types and the answer are primary memory is also known as main memory. We cannot start computer without this memory. So there are two type of primary memory. The first one is RAM. RAM stands for random access memory. It is the main memory of computer system. All the data and instructions are to be loaded in this memory for processing. This memory cannot store data permanently. And the second one is ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. We cannot change the data and instruction stored in this memory. All the instructions to start the computer system are stored in this memory. And the second question is how computer works. Explain each term in details. And the answer are the process of processing in a computer is called computer processing cycle. Computer processing can be represented in three different parts. The first one is input. This part of computer processing cycle is related to receiving data and instructions by computer. In a computer system, all instructions are processed in the form of electrical signal. Such a change is made by the input device. And the second one is processing. Applying the input instruction to the given data is called processing. This is the main task performed by a computer. There is a lot of mathematical and logical work done during processing. This is done through a microprocessor attached to the computer. And the third one is output. The result generated after the processing is completed is given to the user through the output unit. Devices used for output purposes convert the result from an electrical signal to a human understandable type. So we will now learn about multiple choice question in lesson number three. So the first question is screen appeared after login of computer is called and their options are start menu, desktop, taskbar or none of these and the right answer is screen appeared after login of computer is called desktop and second one is all the deleted files go to and their options are my computer network recycle bin and the last one is all of above and the right answer is all the deleted files go to the recycle bin and the third one is which part of window remains visible all the time when we use other applications and their options are Recycle bin, desktop, taskbar or none of these. And the right answer is taskbar part of window remains visible all the time when we use other applications. And the fourth one is which one is an example of operating system and the options are Windows, Android, DOS or all of above. And the right answer is all of above is an example of operating system. And the fifth one is to open a file, we can double click on and their options are file itself, shortcut of file, both A and B or none of these and the right answer is to open a file, we can double click on both A and B. So we will now learn about right, true or false. The first one is window is an operating system designed by Microsoft, true. Second one is those provide a graphical user interface for working on computer system. False. Third one is taskbar is usually located at the top of the screen. False. Third, fourth one is we can create drawing using notepad. False. Fifth one is wallpaper is a picture displaying at the desktop background. True. And sixth one is the process of starting computer is called booting. True. So now we will learn about fill in the blank in lesson number three and the first one is small picture representing program files and folder on the desktops are called icons and the second one is dash is an interface between a computer user and computer hardware and the right answer is operating system is an interface between a computer user and computer hardware and third one is dash operating system is a mobile operating system. And the right answer is Android operating system is a mobile operating system. 
and the fourth one is dash is an icon that represent a link to a program and the right answer is shortcut is an icon that represent a link to a program and the fifth one is dash is a basic text editor of microsoft window and the right answer is notepad is a basic text editor of microsoft window so now we will learn about short answer type questions in lesson number 3 and the first question is write the name of any three window applications and the answer is following are the name of common window application the first one is notepad second one is wordpad third one is paint and fourth one is calculator and the second question is write the name of any three icons and the answer are the name of some common icons are given below the first one is my computer second one is network third one is recycle bin and the fourth one is user files and the third question is write the names of component of a desktop and the answer are main component of desktops are given below the first one is icons second one is shortcut third one is taskbar and the fourth question is what is desktop and the answer are the very first screen that appears after starting computer is called desktop icons shortcuts taskbar and wallpaper are its main components so now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number 3 so the first question is what is operating system explain different type of operating system and the answer are operating system is a system software this software provides an interface for working between user and machine it makes the computer hardware usable by controlling all the internal function of the computer there are many type of operating system the first one is window linux dos etc are the example of operating system for operating computer system and the second one is android symbian etc are the example of operating system for operating mobile phone smart tv etc and the second question is what is a taskbar explain the function of its parts and the answer are the taskbar window is a part of the desktop this bar is usually a horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop screen this bar is always visible when using any program we can use the taskbar to access all running program on the left side of this bar there is a start button which can be used to run any program in the computer to the right of the taskbar is the system tray in which we can see the current time and date the following figure shows the different section of the taskbar and the third question is what do you mean by icon explain any three desktop icons and the answer is icons are small pictures that appears on the desktop they act as a button to open any program folder or file here are some key icons the first one is computer used to work on disk file folder etc in a computer system second one is recycle bin it contains all the deleted files folder icon etc and the third one is user file it store files created by the current user and the fourth question is explain the different options of shutting down a computer system and the answer are following are the common option of shutting down a computer system the first one is shut down this option shut down all part of the computer and no power is supplied to any part of the computer system second one is sleep this option turns off the monitor or lcd and save the internal data of the computer but computer's power supply is keep on and the third one is log off this option is used to log out from our window account a fourth one is restart this option is used to restart our computer system so now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson number 4 and the first one is the dash bar is present at the top of the paint window and the options are title bar status bar scroll bar and the last one is task bar and the right answer is the title bar is present at the top of the paint window and second one is dash tool bar present in the title bar by default its position can be changed either to below or above the ribbon and their options are quick access bar 
status bar, scroll bar, or and the last one is all of these. And the right answer is quick access bar present in the title bar by default. Its position can be changed either to below or above the ribbon. And the third one is the first on the left of the menu bar is the dash button. And your options are paint, help, close. And the last one is minimize. And the right answer is the first on the left of the menu bar is the paint button. And the fourth one is scroll bar is used to move the screen. It is of dash types and your options are 2, 3, 4 and the last one is 5. And the right answer is scroll bar is used to move the screen. It is of 2 types. And the fifth one is with the help of dash option we can save a copy of picture with another and the options are save as, open, new and the last one is exit. And the right answer is with the help of save as option we can save a copy of picture with another. So now we will learn about write the shortcut keys for the following. The first one is to create a new file we can use control plus and shortcut key. And the second one is to open an existing file, Ctrl plus O shortcut keys can be used. And the third one is to save a file, we can use Ctrl plus S. And to print a file, we can use Ctrl plus P. And the fifth one is to undo, we can use Ctrl plus Z shortcut key. And the sixth one is to redo or repeat any action, we can use Ctrl plus Y shortcut key. So now we will learn about short answer type question in lesson number 4 and the first question is what is paint and their answer are MS paint is a drawing tool used for drawing or drawing pictures. This application already exists in Microsoft Windows operating system. A file created in paint is also called a bitmap file. The extension of the file saved in paint is dot bmp. The second question is how to start the MS paint and their answer is the steps to get started with MS Paint are as follows. The first one is click on start button. Second one is type paint in the search box. And third one is press the enter key. And the fourth one is then the paint application appears on your windows. And the third one is write the name of part of window of paint. And the answer is the paint window has several sections. The name of the main component are as follows. The first one is title bar. Second one is quick access toolbar. Third one is tabs and ribbon. Fourth one is scroll bar. Fifth one is work area or drawing area. Sixth one is status bar. Seventh one is zoom slider. And the fourth question is what is work area? And the answer is the work area is also called the drawing area. This is the space between the paint that is used to make the picture. In other words, work area are places where beautiful and attractive drawing can be made. The fifth question is explain the use of save command and the answer is using the save command we can save a picture or painting made in MS Paint to save an image created in MS Paint we can also use the save option from the file menu or the control plus as shortcut key can be used. The sixth one is what are the type of scroll bar and the answer is the scroll bar is used to slide the screen. There are two types. The first one is horizontal scroll bar and the second one is vertical scroll bar. So now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number 4. And the first question is what a quick access toolbar explain its parts. And the answer is quick access toolbar is a toolbar that allows us to quickly access some commonly used command. This toolbar is already present in the title bar. We can add or remove command as needed in this toolbar. The quick access toolbar can be placed below or above the ribbon. And the second question is define home tab ribbon. And the answer is the home tab ribbon is a main ribbon of MS Paint. The ribbon is located at the bottom of the title bar. Most of the command used in Paint are present in this ribbon. All the tools, shapes, color palette and many more commands are present in this ribbon, we need the home tab to do all kind of work in paint. There is also the option to minimize the home tab. 
if we select this option the home tab ribbon stops appearing on the screen it appears again when you click on the home tab so now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson number five and the first question is the clipboard menu has three options cut copy and dash and their options are paste move close and the last one is zoom and the right answer is the clipboard menu has three options cut copy and paste and the second question is the top button a diamond shape with a line through it is dash and the options are paste cut copy and the last one is crop and the right answer is the top button a diamond shape with a line through it is a crop and third one is the dash tool can be used to draw pentagon and the options are triangle rectangle pentagon and the last one is hexagon and the right answer is the pentagon tool can be used to draw pentagon and the fourth one is the eraser tool erase the part of a picture with the dash button of the mouse press and the options are left right scroll and the last one is none of these and the right answer is the eraser tool erase the part of a picture with the left button of the mouse press and the first one is color two is used if we press with the dash mouse button and the options are left right scroll and none of these and the right answer is color two is used if we press with the right mouse button so now we will learn about very short answer type questions so the first question is which tool is used to draw a square and the answer is rectangle tool is used to draw a square and the second one is which tool can be used to erase a part of picture and the answer is eraser tool can be used to erase a part of picture and the third one is which tool allow us for zoom in our picture and the answer is zoom tool allow us for zoom in our picture and the fourth one is which tool is used for free hand drawing and the answer is pencil tool is used for free hand drawing and the fifth question is which tool can we use to write text in our drawing and the answer is text tool can be used to write text in our drawing so now we will learn about short answer type question lesson number 5 and the first question is what are the options available in the clipboard menu and the answer are various option in the clipboard menu are the first one is cut second one is copy and the third one is paste and the second question is write about crop button and the answer is the button at the top of the home tab image group with line in the middle of the diamond shape is called the crop button it help us to crop our picture to the selected area only and the third question is write the name of the tools available in the tool menu and the answer is name of the tools available in the tool menu and the first one is pencil second one is fill with color third one is text fourth one is eraser fifth one is color picker sixth one is magnifier and the fourth question is what is size tool and the answer is size tool is a tool which can be used to increase or decrease the thickness of the border of a brush or shape this tool is active when we choose a brush or a shape tool and the fifth question is write about brushes tool and the answer is using the brush tool we can create drawing using different texture and shapes of brushes we can control the size of the brush with this size tool or the brush tool and the sixth question is give the names of group present in home tab ribbon and the answer is the name of groups present there in home tab ribbon are the first one is clipboard second one is image third one is tools fourth one is brushes fifth one is shapes sixth one is size seventh one is color so now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number 5 and the first question is explain the color tool of ms paint and the answer are the color section of the ribbon has three parts boxes showing the active color color 1 and color 2 the color palette and uh, and the edit color button and the first one is color 1 and color 2 so color 1 is the foreground color and is always black when we open paint 
and color 2 is the background color and it is always white when we open paint and second one is color palette there are different colors available in the color palette for making a picture and the third one is edit color the edit color button allow us to add colors other than the color palette and second question is what is a text tool how is the text formatted and the answer is text tool is used to fill text in images or drawing sheets and the steps to format text are the first one is select the text tool from the tools menu and type the text by dragging the mouse over the sheet and second one is select the text and choose the font from the text toolbar with the help of mouse button by up and down in the font list as we do this the appearance of text we have typed will change accordingly and the third one is similarly you can format the text by changing the font style font size and color 1 and color 2 so now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson number 6 and the first question is computer is a combination of hardware and dash and the options are software application processor or all of these and the right answer is computer is a combination of hardware and software and second one is set of instructions is called dash and the options are software hardware program and the last one is application and the right answer is set of instructions is called program and third one is group of programs is called dash and the options are hardware software processor and the last one is none of these and the right answer is group of programs is called software and the first one is software is of dash types and the options are 2, 3, 4 and the last one is 5. And the right answer is software is of two types. And the first question is computer cannot work without dash and the options are word, excel, operating system and the last one is powerpoint. And the right answer is computer cannot work without operating system. So now we will learn about fill in the blank in lesson number 6 and the first one is we cannot touch dash and the right answer is we cannot touch software and second one is physical part of a computer are called dash and the right answer is physical parts of a computer are called hardware and third one is dash is also known as random access memory and the right answer is ram is also known as random access memory and the fourth one is dash software are used for some particular tasks and the right answer is application software are used for some particular task so now we will learn about very short answer type question and the first question is which part of cpu connect the other part like processor hard disk ram etc and the right answer is motherboard part of cpu connect the other part like processor hard disk ram etc and second question is what we call a set of instructions given to a computer and the right answer is program is a set of instructions given to a computer and the third one is which part of computer cannot be touched but felt and the right answer is software part of computer cannot be touched but felt the fourth one is what are two types of software and the answer is there are two types of software the first one is system software and the second one is application software and the next question is which type of softwares are expensive and the answers are system software type of software are expensive so now we will learn about short answer type question and the first question is what is hardware and the answer is the physical part of a computer that we can see and touch are called hardware example of hardware are keyboard mouse monitor printer motherboard speaker etc data is also stored and processed in hardware second one is what is software and the answer is a set of program is called software we can do any work in the computer using this software these are the part of the computer that we cannot touch for example paint notepad window etc software is used to control hardware devices and perform specific tasks for the user and third one is write the name of devices which are connected with the motherboard and the answer is the main devices which are connected with the motherboard are the first one is processor second one is processor fan third one is ram fourth one is hard disk 
Fifth one is power supply. Sixth one is CD or DVD. And the fourth question is give four example of hardware. And the answer is the example of hardware are the first one is keyboard. Second one is mouse. Third one is monitor. Fourth one is speaker. Fifth one is system unit. And sixth one is printer. And the fifth question is what are the qualities or features of software? And the answer are the quality of the software are as follow. The first one is software has no weight. Second one is we cannot touch them. Third one is the software command the hardware to work. And the fourth one is software is valuable. And sixth question is explain the important points for taking care of hardware. And the answer is here are some key points to keep in mind about hardware. The first one is we must keep the computer parts clean. Second one is the computer should be covered after use. Third one is the wires of computer part should not be pulled. Fourth one is part of the computer should be properly maintained and protected from breakage. And fifth one is you should not turn on the computer and clean it. And sixth one is a clean or soft cloth should be used to clean computer hardware. Seventh one is don't eat or drink anything near the computer. Eighth one is the computer keyboard button should not be pressed too hard. So now we will learn about long answer type question and the first question is write the difference between application software and system software. And the answer is the difference between application software and system software are so as you see in the below table on the left side system software is given and on the right side application software are given. So the first point is system software are essential part whereas application software are non-essential part. Number two, system software are very complex whereas application software are very simple. And the third one is system software are expensive whereas application software are cheap. And the fourth one is system software are made by experts only whereas application software a person with less experience can made it. And fifth one is in system software the computer cannot function without it. Whereas in the application software, the computer can work without it. And the example of system software are the first one is operating system. And the example of application software are paint, word, excel, powerpoint, games, etc. And the second question is write a note on hardware. So the physical part of a computer that we can see and touch are called hardware. Example of hardware are keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, motherboard, speaker. Data is stored and processed in hardware. The key feature of hardware are we can touch the hardware, we can feel the hardware, hardware takes up space and data is stored and processed in hardware. So now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson number 7. And the first question is dash is used to click photos in computer and the options are headphone, web camera, speaker or none of these and the right answer is web camera is used to click photos in computer. And second one is barcode reader consists of dash and the options are sensor, light, heat and the last one is magnetic. And the right answer is barcode reader consists of sensor. And the third one is Dash is a pointing device and the options are headphone, keyboard, mouse and the last one is web camera. And the right answer is mouse is a pointing device. And the fourth one is dash is used to add text and picture in computer. And the options are printer, scanner, speaker and the last one is mouse. And the right answer is scanner is used to add text and picture in computer. And the fifth one is dash keys are used to move cursor in all direction. And the options are arrow, special, function and the last one is numeric. And the right answer is arrow keys are used to move cursor in all direction. So now we will learn about fill in the blank in lesson number 7. And the first one is dash devices are used to give an input to computer. And the right answer is input devices are used to give an input to computer. And second one is dash is used to record voice in the computer. And the right answer is mic or microphone is used to record voice in the computer. And third one is dash is used to play video games. 
and the right answer is joystick is used to play video games and the fourth one is touchpad is used in dash and the right answer is touchpad is used in laptop and the fifth one is there are dash function keys on the keyboard and the right answer is there are 12 function keys on the keyboard so now we will learn about very short answer type questions so the first question is which device is used to capture pictures in computer and the right answer is web camera device is used to capture pictures in computer and second one is which part of paint window is used to move screen and the right answer is scroll bar of paint window is used to move screen the third one is how many function keys are there on a keyboard and the answer are 12 function keys are there on a keyboard and the fourth one is which device is used to control video games and the answer is joystick is used to control video games and the fifth one is which keys are used to move cursor and the answer is arrow keys are used to move cursor so now we will learn about short answer type questions so our first question is define input devices and the answer are an input device is a hardware device used to input data instruction and information into a computer if the cpu is the brain of the computer then the input devices are the computer eyes and ears which transmit information to it and second question is write the name of any six input devices and the answer is some of the common input devices are given below the first one is keyboard second one is joystick third one is mouse fourth one is web camera fifth one is mic sixth one is light pen seventh one is scanner and eighth one is barcode reader and third question is write short note on joystick and the answer is the joystick is an input device the joystick has a base and a stick which can be rotated in any direction due to its flexible movement it has more control than the keyboard it has a lever which rotate in every direction and control the direction of the pointer the joystick is used to play video games the play stick has more than one button called push button so now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number seven and the first question is explain any two input devices and the answer is the two input devices are as follows the first one is microphone so microphone is also called mic it is used to record or record sound in computer if we have a mic in our computer then we can record our voice through it and also listen to the recorded voice users who cannot type anything on the computer can also input to the computer by speaking through the mic the mic is also used to communicate with friends over the internet instruction can also be given to the computer through the mic and the second one is webcam a webcam is an input device used to record photos and short videos it's just like a normal camera the only difference is that the normal camera saves the photo in a movie roll or memory card and the web camera stores the photo in the computer memory picture taken with a webcam can also be edited the webcam is not a very expensive device and the second question is write a note on barcode reader and the answer is a barcode reader is an electronic device used to read barcode print the, the barcode reader is equipped with a lens and a light sensor which convert optical waves into electrical waves barcode reader are used in large shopping malls and stores to determine the exact price of goods and the third one is what is mouse explain the functions of mouse buttons and the answer is a mouse is an input device used to control the cursor on the screen it is also called pointing device there are usually three buttons on the mouse that can be used to perform a task a process called a click the mouse is rotated on a flat surface and as the mouse is rotated the mouse pointer appears to rotate on the screen so there are three buttons on the mouse left button right button and scroll button so first one is left button so left button is used to select a file pressing this key once is called single click and double pressing is called double click second one is scroll button the scroll button is used to scroll up and down in document and third one is right button 
this button is used to view the property of the file this is called a right click and the fourth question is what are pointing devices explain with example and the answer are pointing devices are the devices that are used to control the pointers or arrows that appears on the screen the mouse is also a commonly used pointing device whenever we move the mouse on a mouse pad or a flat surface we also see the mouse pointer on the screen so some of the main pointing devices are the first one is mouse second one is touchpad third one is light pen and the question number 5 explain special keys and their function and the answer are each special key on the keyboard is used to perform a specific task the first one is space bar key this key is used to delete a space between two characters second one is tab key using the tab key in the navigation the cursor moves forward 0.5 inches third one is backspace key this key is used to delete the characters to the left of the cursor fourth one is delete key this key is used to delete the characters to the right of the cursor this one is enter key this key is used to start a line or paragraph from the next line sixth one is window key pressing this key activate the window start button so now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson number 8 and the first question is monitor is soft and dash is hard copy output device and the options are printer plotter both of these or none of these and the right answer is printer is soft and both of these is hard copy output device and the second one is dash is used to listen sound of computer and the options are printer speaker microphone and the last one is mouse and the right answer is speaker is used to listen sound of computer and the third one is dash print output on paper and the options are printer keyboard mouse and the last one is speaker and the right answer is printer prints output on paper and fourth one is dash printer prints by joining dots and the options are dot matrix ink jet laser or none of these and the right answer is dot matrix printer prints by joining dots and the fifth one is monitors are of dash type and the options are 2 3 4 and the last one is 5 and the right answer is monitor are of two types and the sixth one is headphones are also called dash and the options are iphone earphone both of these or none of these and the right answer is headphones are also called earphone so now we will learn about fill in the blank and the first one is dash devices are used to get information from computer and the right answer is output devices are used to get information from computer and second one is dash is a soft copy output device and the answer is monitor is a soft copy output device and third one is dash is a hard copy output device and the answer is printer is a hard copy output device and the fourth one is dash printer prints by joining dots and the answer is dot matrix printer dmp prints by joining dots the fifth one is speed of dash printer is very fast and the answer is speed of laser printer is very fast so now we will learn about short answer type question and the first question is what are output devices and the answer is an output device is a computer hardware device that is used to present the result generated after data processing as hard copy or soft copy the result displayed on the monitor is called soft copy and the result printed on paper by the printer is called hard copy these devices convert electronic information into human readable information and second one is what are speakers and the answer is a speaker is an output device that receive input audio from a sound card in a computer and transmit the audio output in the form of sound waves speakers are used to listen to sound from a computer or mobile phone speakers are available in many shapes and size and the third question is where are projector used and the answer is a projector is an output device that display any type of image or video from a computer on a white screen or wall or anything else projectors are used to play e content in offices cinemas college and schools 
presentation through any image or video is used to convey and explain its meaning to each participant. And the first question is, what are the types of printer? And the answer is, there are three types of printer. The first one is dot matrix printer. Second one is inkjet printer. Third one is laser printer. And the fifth question is, write a note on printer. And the answer is, a printer is a hard copy output device used to print data and information from a computer on a piece of paper. They can print black and white as well as color documents. Printer speed is measured in character per second, lines per minute and pages per minute and printer quality is measured in dots per inch. And the sixth question is write the name of any three output devices and the answer is each output device has its own specific function and some of the most common use output devices are the first one is monitor, second one is speaker, third one is headphone, fourth one is printer, fifth one is plotter and sixth one is projector. So now we will learn about long answer type question in lesson number 8 and the first question is write note on monitor and its types and the answer is the monitor is also called a visual display device. The monitor displays the result from the CPU as a soft copy. The image on the monitor is made up of T dots and these dots are called pixels. So there are two types of monitor. The first one is cathode ray tube monitor and second one is flat panel display monitor. So the first one is cathode ray tube monitor. This is a rectangular box like monitor used to view the output with the desktop computer. These are large and heavy in size. These monitors are available in sizes 15 inch, 17 inch, 19 inch and 21 inch. These monitors are available in both black and white and color variant. These monitor also consumes more power. And second one is flat panel display monitor. Flat panel display is a category of video devices which are smaller in size, weight and power consumption as compared to CRT monitor. These are used as graphic screen in calculator, video games, laptop, notebook, personal computer, digital clock. So example of flat panel displays are LCD, LED, plasma, etc. And the second question is write the difference between input and output devices. So difference between input and output devices are the first one is input devices are used to provide data and instruction to a computer. Whereas output devices are used to get result from the computer and second one is input devices examples are keyboard mouse scanner web camera etc whereas output devices example are printer monitor speaker etc so student if you like this video don't forget to like share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you will get all the notification of more video like this Thank you.